by request a quick video on operating the Otis King. Uh, this is the model with the logarithm scale. So I'm holding the camera with uh, my other hand, so I'll have to do this one handed. So, say we want to take 21, line up 21 with that mark right there. Okay. Then we take, we line up our one up here. And there. Then what we do. Sorry, but that one sec. Just a little, little bit on there. It's a little tough for me to line everything up because I'm getting around here. Alright, there. See, there's the one. And uh, there's 21. Now, I want to multiply it by 4. Okay, basically I move that indicator there to 4, and you can see down at the bottom, 84. And that's how you multiply with the Otis King. Um, because with the logarithm ones of the scale, you may have to move it up and down to decide which end of the scale you're going to use. Uh, the notch here is lined up with the one on both ends of this scale. Now, to divide, the same basic procedure. So let's take 166, right? And we go up here. See, so still have 166 there. We go up here and we're going to go and we're going to divide it by 2. Alright, so that's lined up with the 2. Now, we go up to the index. Right there. And you can see we have 83. And that's how to multiply and divide with the Otis King calculator. Uh, personally, I'm a big fan of these. Uh, they are excellent for accuracy and can frequently do uh, four digits. So, well, have fun. Bye.